What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you three ways to get customers month after month without running ads. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions recently. Ben, do you run Facebook ads? Ben, do you run ads on Instagram? Right now the answer is no to both, right? Also don't run ads on YouTube. Now, my method of attracting clients and converting clients online takes time. It's not this overnight thing that I know a lot of people talk about where you close 59 clients in five seconds, right? I don't teach that. Uh, frankly, that doesn't work. And what we want to do, though, is break this down where it's really simple. And if you have these three things set up within your business month after month, you'll be able to add new clients. And again, this is a long-term type of process. This is not an overnight, silly gadget type of thing that you see on ads all the time, right? Three things here. So I want you to write these down. And I also want you to text me if you have any questions. My number is 210 960-5771. If you live in the U.S. or Canada, text me. Uh, it'll get through. If you live abroad, uh, send me an email and comment below this video. You can get in touch with me. I'll show you how. All right. Here's the three ways. Number one, we need to have a strong system with social media. Now, when we think about social media, this is not getting people to like follow you. This is you getting into the brain of the consumer, which is the person that's going to be buying your program, right? And we need to understand what do they think about? What do they spend their time? How do they think? What are the problems they're dealing with? And we start talking about those things on social media, right? A great example, look to see what I've done here on YouTube. If you go back and dissect my channel. I talk about obstacles and problems that coaches have. I've done, if you go back and dissect what I've done with my soccer academy before I ever started helping coaches, I do the same thing with parents. It works, flat out it works, but it only works if you're consistent. If you shoot like one video a month, it's not gonna do anything. If you shoot one video every other week, that's still not really gonna do anything. And that doesn't mean you need to be the loudest person on social media. You don't. I'm not the loudest guy on social media. I don't need to have that kind of attention. All right? And neither do you. And this is why you shouldn't make your social media about you. You should make it about your prospects and clients that you want to work with. Everything you do online should be about them, not about you. All right? That's how you should run your social media. You should also, also use your social media to promote your business. Don't use social media to scroll around and see what other people are doing, all right? So number one, have a strong social media presence. And you need to have all of that ironed out where it's scheduled. You have a set day throughout the month where you do it. I have an entire blueprint. It's a program on how to do that. Um, if you want to send me a text and you're like, hey, I want to check that out, I'll show you how you can get it. Pretty simple. All right, the second thing, we need to have a strong referral system. I promise you, there's so many new clients you could be training in the next month if you have systems in place with referrals, All right? One thing I do is at the end of 30 days, after I meet with a client for 30 days, 30, 45 days, once I know they're getting results, I'm going to straight up ask, that person for a referral, all right? So for me, if I'm working with kids that play soccer, I'm not gonna ask the kid that plays soccer for a referral, I'm gonna ask the parent. And every parent knows way more parents, right? That's how I built a big chunk of my business was through referrals, but I didn't wait for people to refer out clients to me. I like was proactive with that and I ask and I constantly ask, and I do that so I can grow my business. I want to help more clients that are like-minded, right? So why wouldn't, I, why wouldn't I ask clients if they get results if 
for, for more clients, right? Again, that's a system that you can have in place. That can be a phone call. That can be setting up an incentive. Whatever, whatever that's, you know, however that's set up, it doesn't matter. We need that to be something that you do on a regular basis. And let's just say right now you have 10 clients, right? I like using simple numbers. Let's say you have 10 clients. I promise you those 10 clients individually know at minimum 10 to 20 other parents who have kids that play the sport that you coach, right? Potentially that's up to 100 to 200 more kids that you could be training. But what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna wait for people to refer clients into your program? No, you should be proactive, right? You do not need to wait. You need to be proactive and make that something that you do on a regular basis. I promise you, like the most successful coaches I work with, that's one thing they're really good at. They always get referrals. They're, they're not waiting around for them. They are proactive. They are getting the referrals, right? Now, here's the third thing. I talk about this in my program. And I know, personally, I do this. Uh, not many people do this, but coaches that, are, that join our program, once they start doing this, they build a lot more confidence. And it's very simple, very simple process here. I want you to talk to three people per day, right? Do that for five days per week. Do that for a year and tell me what happens. Right? Now, I'm not saying talk to Uncle Billy Bob, Uncle Joey, and Aunt Susie. Right? I'm not talking about talking to them. I'm talking about who in your area has influence over parents that have kids that play your sport. So every organization, every coach in your area, uh, other types of businesses that deal with kids that, that you train, like physical therapy centers. Uh, I mean, I can go down the list of people that you can connect with. And also, this is not just, hey, let's shoot them a tweet. No. Like, let's, let's put on our big boy underwear and let's start calling people. Let's start, like, meeting with people. Like, if, if you have to get on Zoom, put yourself out there and show that you are the one who wants to help them. You're not taking anything from them. You are helping them. You're going in with a giving hand. I just got off a call yesterday with a coach who asked me, well, Ben, how did you network with the YMCA? All right, because that's been a huge lead generation, uh, lead generation source for my business. And I told him, I said, hey, I went in to help them. I did not take anything from them. Right? I showed them how I could help them. Not just the kids, but the parents and the coaches. And I did a lot of grunt work. But guess what? That got a lot of momentum. That got me in front of a lot of parents and a lot of kids. Like, I wouldn't be talking to you right now on this video unless I did stuff like that back in the day. Now, that's not easy. That takes time. You need to build confidence when you do that. right? But that stuff pays off long term. right? Now, if you catch my, my drift here, I keep talking long term. A lot of coaches out there who are looking for bright, shiny objects are looking for Facebook ads. They're looking for a quick way to get clients. I'll tell you, even those who do Facebook ads, right? People that I know that are doing that right now, and that's something I'm going to be tapping into later this year. And when I do that, I know it's not about, let's get clients as fast as we can. It's not how life works, right? That stuff takes time. But the three things that I just showed you, if you implement those straight away, you will get more clients every single month, but you have to do it, right? You have to actually do that. If you need to set an alarm on your phone that goes off the last Friday of every month, prompting you to call your clients for referrals, prompting you to like every single day, talk to three people per day. Because I'll tell you right now, if you're the most influential coach in your area, that means you know the, the most people. That means everyone knows who you are, right? And with, when Ms. Jones and Ms. Anderson are at the store and they're talking about soccer or basketball or tennis, whatever sport you coach, they should be talking about you. They shouldn't even be talking about the sport. They're talking about you. That's what I'm talking about. Now, how do you do that? Well, you've got to be on social media. You've got to use it. 
Like, use this stupid thing right here, this phone. Use it to your advantage, right? Don't use it to play around. Use it to build your business, <laughs> right? It's very simple. Now, if you know you need help with that, you're like, man, I just, I don't know what to say on social media, or I need the push. And I, I need to set things up to where I have an application system. So when someone does watch a video, I, where do I lead them to? If those are things, if those are little details you need help with, reach out to me. My number is 210-960-5771. All right, that's it for today's video. Hit that subscribe button if you like the content you see. If you have any questions, best way to reach out to me. Don't shoot me a YouTube comment. Just send me a text. That's where I talk to coaches every single day. The last three months, I've been spending three to four hours per day talking to coaches. And I want to talk to you. If you've been watching my videos, you haven't reached out to me, right? I'm not this guru, right? I don't sit behind this computer with Cowboy and just do nothing, right? We don't just shoot videos. I'm in the trenches every single day talking to coaches, helping coaches, like helping coaches get results. So if that's you, reach out to me. Um, I want to help you. That's it. See you later.